सो दिस इज द लास्ट पोर्शन ऑफ मेटाबोलिज्म फर्स्ट पास मेटाबोलिज्म यू ऑल ऑलरेडी नो दिस फर्स्ट पास मेटाबोलिज्म व्हाट हैपेंस ड्रग वाज गेटिंग एब्जॉर्ब फ्रॉम जीआईटी वी विल डिस्कस जीआईटी फॉर फर्स्ट पास मेटाबोलिज्म कंसीडर दिस इज ओके दिस इज जीआईटी एंड द ड्रग वाज गेटिंग ओके दिस इज लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन and this is rectum uh, if you know little bit of from anatomy what is there is upper half of rectum and most of whole of small intestine and this large intestine they drain into what they drain into portal circulation most of this drains into portal circulation so the drugs given by oral route and 50% of drug absorbed through rectal route enter into portal circulation after entering into portal circulation where it goes to liver it goes to liver and in liver this gets metabolized so before going to liver drug also gets metabolized in this area that is intestinal wall intestinal wall so the site of uh, site of drug metabolism will be first pass metabolism will be intestine as well as liver limited metabolism also occurs in skin and lung so what is first pass metabolism first pass metabolism is uh, drug getting metabolized during the course of its absorption from the given site to systemic circulation so this is the uh, metabolism drug during its passage from site of absorption into systemic circulation after getting metabolized here and here the drug will reach systemic circulation okay now the drug reaches the systemic circulation and goes to various sites uh, one more thing what you should know is liver apart from metabolizing the drug it also dumps the drug into bile it also dumps the drug into bile so the liver is doing two things one it is metabolizing other thing is it is dumping the drug into the bile bile hence the hepatic extraction ratio there is a term known as hepatic extraction ratio that is uh, the drug which is being extracted by liver it is extracting by two things one is metabolism one is dumping into the bile it is the fraction of absorbed drug it is the fraction of absorbed drug prevented by liver from reaching systemic circulation very clear what is hepatic extraction ratio the amount of drug which is being prevented by reaching into systemic circulation consider 100% of the drug is being absorbed and 60% is metabolized and or dumped by the liver so 60% is extraction ratio how much will reach in systemic circulation only 40% will be reaching in systemic circulation so this is known as hepatic extraction ratio it includes both the drug metabolized as well as drug excreted into the bile into the bile consider uh, i'll give an example and the example what i am giving is it, it is it is it itself has been asked as a mcq question in need a drug has 40% absorption a drug has 40% absorption and hepatic extract, extraction ratio of 0.6 what is the bioavailability the examiner wants to know bioavailability of drug not very difficult question c 40% of the drug is absorbed 40% is absorbed out of this 40% liver is taking up how much 60% liver is taking up so how much will be reaching into systemic circulation 100 minus 60 is equal to 40 so out of this 40% again 40% will be reaching into systemic circulation or if you want to write in decimal form 0.4 is absorption and 1 minus 0.6 what is 0.6 0.6 is ex extraction ratio 1 minus 0.6 is getting into systemic circulation so 0.4 
into point four will be point one six or sixteen percent. Hence, the answer will be sixteen percent. Or you can write this in mathematical form. Bioavailability is equal to fractional absorb, which is point four here. Point four is absorbed. Fractional absorption into one minus hepatic abstraction ratio. No need to remember formula. This is very easily it can be interpreted by uh, using logic. So, why you need to know drugs with high pre-systemic metabolism or high first pass metabolism? First pass metabolism is also known as pre-systemic metabolism. Why you need to know these drugs? Because you need a higher dose, higher dose for such drugs. Correct? Because the drug is getting metabolized in liver one more thing is if there is liver failure no drug is not getting metabolized in liver failure so it may precipitate drug toxicity of such drugs such drugs means which are getting metabolized by uh, which are getting metabolized by liver one more thing why you should know drugs undergoing high first pass metabolism is simply because in exams it has been asked a lot of times so to remember this again uh, you can have your own mnemonic high pass metabolism occurs in liver i use this high h for hydrocortisone i for isoprenaline pass p for pethidine propranolol alprenolol salbutamol and uh, statins metabolism morphine liver l for levodopa isosorbid dinitrate uh, glycerol trinitrate and verapamil we were verapamil or diltiazem uh, and also you can know here apart from hydrocortisone this lidocaine lignocaine is also also undergoes high first pass metabolism and testosterone also undergoes high first pass metabolism but you don't use this this group of drugs orally why hydrocortisone isoprenaline lignocaine testosterone you, we use all these drugs orally as well as by parenteral route we don't use these drugs because uh, after getting metabolism what was happening drug were getting inactivated or some drugs were having toxic metabolites these drugs will be having toxic metabolites hence if given by oral route some of it will definitely reach systemic circulation but toxic metabolites will be much more and it will cause toxicity hence these are not used orally and uh, just for example how much dose difference it will make see this verapamil if given iv the dose is just 2.5 mg or 5 mg and when given oral the dose the tablets itself is of 40 mg to 360 mg up to this dose we can use in oral okay